Hello guys, welcome back to Guthro Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Valorant couldn't start error, new method on 2021, how we can fix this up. Even some of you guys are having the trouble. So let's get started. So first step is what you have to do is just have to run the program as administrator. So here I have to admit that I am not having the game. I have deleted very recently and for the video purpose, I can't download it back. So I'm just going to take the topic and demonstrate you guys. First thing what you have to do is just have to imagine this is Valorant. So you just have to right click on your screen on the Valorant icon and go to properties. And from here you have to click on compatibility. And here there is an option called run this program as administrator. You have to select this and go for apply and go for okay. This is what you have to do. This is a very basic step which you have to try out and try to open the game and couldn't start error should be completely fixed. And if it's not fixing then we have solution number two. So solution number two is all about we have uh, one method is you just have to click on the Valorant once again and what you have to do is just have to go to the properties and from here you have to compatibility and what we are trying to do is we are trying to disable the game settings so here as you can see that there is an a option called disable full screen optimization right and most probably when you're having the uh, couldn't start error this will be ticked so you just have to untick this which means we are changing the game settings optimization and also we are having run with this program as administrator you have to untick this and you have to go for apply and you have to go for ok and see whether the issue is solved or not and adding up with this we have one more solution which is just have to right click on this pc and you have to go to properties over here you just have to click on device manager and what you have to do is just have to click on display adapters and make sure that the respective adapt uh, drivers are up to date and search for the automatic and see whether the issue is solved or not and if it's uh, most probably after updating the drivers doing these steps you just have to do a restart and see whether this is solved and most probably this should be completely fixed i found this solution in the reddit and many users have reported that it's all worked for them and i hope this video is helpful if you find this video helpful and this channel do don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out